This video will teach you how to add sound to the objects you want your students to sort, match, or label. You can add sound through a couple different ways. One, you can select an object from the gallery, a multimedia object, and that will already have sound included. Two, as long as your computer has a microphone, you can record your own sound. And three, you can download sound files from the internet, again, beware of copyright, and you can attach those sound files to different objects. In this lesson, we started by searching for the numbers in the gallery because we wanted the numbers to make sounds. On these numbers, you'll see the lower left-hand corner has a little icon, and if you click on that icon, you'll hear the sound spoken. However, it's quite difficult to click exactly on that icon for some small children. And it's a little hard to see that you want the seven to talk, but you want to click it all the way down here. In order to change that, we can make it so that you can click on the actual number seven and it will speak. In order to do this, right click, click on sound, and right now it says corner icon, but we want to switch that to object and then hit attach sound. So now when we touch the seven, seven, it will speak. We'll do that for number 10. We'll select the 10, right click, click on sound, and we'll switch it from corner icon to object and click attach sound. 10. Now we can continue to do these with all the other numbers. But what about this number two? This was just typed in. What if I want to add sound to that? There are two ways I can do so. I can use the microphone to record my voice, or I can use a sound file. I have a sound file that speaks all the different numbers. So I'm going to add sound by right clicking, click on sound. Now up here, I'm going to click on browse. Here are all of my number sounds. I'm going to double click on number two. I want to add it to the object itself, not the corner. And I'm going to click attach sound. Now if I click on the number two, Two. It speaks. I'm going to do this again with number eight. Select number eight, right click, click on sound, go up here, browse, find my number eight, attach it to the object, not the corner, and hit attach sound. Now we can click on number eight. Eight. In our second lesson, I thought it would be helpful to have the objects speak their words because sometimes it can be confusing what exactly an object is representing. So as you can see down here in the completed one, I click on an object nest, and it speaks its name. In order to do this, I'll come back to the one I'm creating here, we're going to click on an object to select it. Now I don't have a sound file that says nest. So I'm going to use my voice. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to select sound. And over here it says record sound clip. So I'm going to click start recording, nest, stop recording. I want to attach it to the object and click attach. Now when we click on it, nest, it says nest. I'm going to do the same thing for the kite. I'll select the kite, right click, select sound, click over here, start recording, kite, stop recording, make sure you attach it to the object, click attach recording. Now if I click on kite, kite, I've attached sound.